Hey friends, good morning, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much to all of those who have subscribed and supported my channel. I appreciate it so much. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. So this morning, I just wanted to share this tumbler with you. And it is a peekaboo rainbow tumbler. So this particular tumbler, it's a 20 ounce and I got it from Amazon. It came in a four pack and it's a rainbow tumbler. So now the rainbow tumblers, they're so pretty and I couldn't buy them individually, but I had one that I just really wanted to do something for a friend. And then, so I had some extras and I thought, you know, what am I going to do with them? So I wanted to do a peekaboo rainbow on this one. And I thought, oh, the rainbow cup will be perfect for that. So what I did was initially I put some white glitter, just a thin white glitter so that it would still be pretty transparent over the rainbow tumbler. Then I went in and I put a decal for the rainbow. And then I did a dirty pour and I used orange, yellow and white on my dirty pour because I wanted it to be like a sunshine. And then after the dirty pour dried, tacky, not completely dry, I took off the decal. And then I did add some white chunky glitter to the cloud to make it a little bit more bold, but I wanted the color to stand out behind it still. And then I put resin over that, just a very light coat of resin over that with the um, a little tiny bit of glitter in that resin, just to give it some sparkle, you know, through here. And then I went on and I put my decal and another light, light coat of resin. So now when I go to, so this has each time is very light coats of resin. When I go to put a name on this and then I'll flood it with a heavier coat of resin and give it a nice thick finished look. So one thing I want to say on this one. So I don't know if you can see the decal on it. It says, be the sunshine on a cloudy day and be the rainbow after the storm. Now I wanted this to be in yellow. I wanted it, the wording to be a little bit subdued, but to be able to see it and you can see it, but you have to definitely look. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention because usually when you put stuff under epoxy, it will like really brighten up the colors, but sometimes it will subdue your colors. So this is the vinyl that I put on. And so I was really expecting it to be a little bit more bright than it was, as you can see. So, I just wanted to, you know, kind of put that out there for you just so that if you're doing colors that are going to kind of really mix in well, then you can, um, you know, think about how it's going to come up under the epoxy. So if, you know, if you're going to be able to read it well or not. I still like it. You know, I do definitely wish that it were, you know, much brighter underneath there, of course, but I do still definitely like it. And I love this tumbler. I think it's super cute. I love how it turned out. And I really like the dirty pour. I use the dirty pour myself for wood grain. I know a lot of people do like alcohol ink for wood grain. I myself use the dirty pour for wood grain. And I think it turns out really nice. I don't know that I've done one on a video, so I probably um, I probably will do that at some point. But yeah, so here is 
my rainbow sunshine tumbler turned out really cute and I like it a lot and I really you know love these rainbow tumblers I also have some that have a um, tiger print underneath them so we'll see what I can do with those Anyways, hey, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful, beautiful rest of the day. And I hope that, you know, maybe it gave you a thought of inspiration for something you want to do. And, um, yeah, listen, I'll attach the video doing it so that you can see that if you'd like to for like the dirty pour and stuff. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful rest of the day. Bye. All right, so here's where we are now. So our rainbow tumbler we got from Amazon. Now, if you don't have the rainbow tumbler, I just happened to find these. I thought they were pretty and I wanted to do something unique with them. But of course, very easy to just paint a rainbow on here. Spray paint it, whatever, or you could you know, glitter your rainbow and not do the white over it. But I would spray paint it with the white glitter. I love this, this look. So, but like I said, I just bought these from Amazon with the rainbow on them. So now I just made a stencil. So this is the magic cover from, um, that I get at the Dollar Tree. Love this. All right, so I have my paint. Now, this is a marbling paint from Folk Art, so that means it's already got the pouring medium in it. That's my orange and my yellow. I bought this to try it. To be perfectly honest with you, I think it's so expensive to do it that way. So, unless you don't wanna deal with pouring medium, I wouldn't suggest it. Um, and then this is just a white paint from the Dollar Tree. And I actually have pouring medium already mixed in this because I got down to just, you know, a little bit of paint in it. So I just added pouring medium in the paint itself. All right. So now I'm just going to layer in my paint how I want it. I want to put a little white in between my paints. Now, you can swirl it. You can pour it directly on like this, however you want. I'm gonna just go like this with it. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna just go in a circle with it.
All right, so this is dried for a little while. It is not even close to being dry, so I need to be really careful with it. But I think that I'm safe that it's not going to ooh, drip. It's hard to do and show you. But the problem is I got to go to work, so I'm going to have to be able to pull this up. Now I went in, found it, and gave myself a um, sort of space. Oh, I rubbed kind of off where the um, paint was to find it, but you could put hot glue is really a good way. Sorry, I don't know if I'm out of frame, but this is a little challenging to do and show at the same time. Take my Hopefully that little spot there won't dry too bad. Just add a little extra paint there. All right, so now I need to just leave it alone and let it dry. Ah, that's all right. Here we are. I'm home from work. It's not completely dry, but it's dry enough for this next step. So I am going to, so this is really pretty, but I want it to look more like a cloud. I don't want it to be completely white because I do like this red in the background. So I am going to just oh, spray glue on myself. Take this glue got it up through here and I'm gonna put like a chunky kind of white glitter through here but just one thin little layer because when I put my thing of um, epoxy on here. I'm going to put a light little coat of without smacking the camera. All right.
All right. So that's perfect. So I want, like you can see, you know, I want the color to shine through still, but I still want it to be no.